In this stem bite, we're going to measure the diameter of the Earth simply by watching the sunset. Oh boy, I'm going to miss it. i got to hurry. Now I hear you saying, how could you measure the diameter of the Earth just by looking at the sunset? Well, I'll tell you how. The Earth is absolutely enormous. It's so big we can't even see very far because the Earth curves away from us, right? That's our horizon. If I were standing right here at the water level and I had a friend maybe standing on top of that lighthouse, the friend would be able to see further, right? They're looking past the curve, past where I can see. If you can measure the time difference of the sunset between someone right at the water level and someone on top of the lighthouse, you could use that time difference to actually calculate the radius or diameter of the Earth. Now, I, I can't climb that lighthouse, it's actually closed, but I can simulate it a different way. I can lay on the ground right as the sun is setting and then stand up immediately after it sets and I'll actually see the sun rise again. And I can count or measure how much time there is between those two sunsets and use my height and actually calculate the radius of the Earth. Now, it's a little awkward because people walk around here and I'm about to lay on the ground, but for science, I'll do it. I'm laying right here on the ground on my stomach, and as soon as I see the sun set, I'm gonna stand up and start counting. It's still there. I'm gonna wait until the last little bit of sunlight disappears. It's still there, it's going, it's going. All right, there it is, gone. Stand up, one chimpanzee, two chimpanzee, three chimpanzee. I don't think that worked. <laughs> There's some clouds right there on the horizon, I couldn't see it sharp enough. Oh man, pretty sure those people were laughing at me. Well, there's always tomorrow. Stand by.